what is up my fellow gamers welcome back to reloads gaming it is your boy reloads back on andromeda today in this video what i want to do for you guys i actually want to bring you guys my first ever dev log for andromeda just let you guys know what is going on with andromeda's development cycle so now the first thing that i want to start off with which is actually going to be different what you guys seen andromeda's pre-alpha reveal trailer is this brand new ui which is at the top of your screen now this ui right here is actually the player score streak meter and what the score streak meter does it actually will calculate points and calculate the player score that you'll get from creating matches as well as defeating enemies now once your score streak meter reaches 100% the player will actually have the ability to activate their spacecraft special ability but basically what I haven't implemented any special abilities for this UI right now but if you do press down on the right mouse key it will reset the score streak meter I just actually have to go into the game and actually implement all the um special abilities that I want each spacecraft to have so last week on my Twitter account I actually ended up making a tweet saying that I held my first ever playtest session for Andromeda and from Andromeda's first ever playtest session I was actually able able to get a lot of positive feedback from my playtesters as well as get a lot of observation of things that need to be changed into the game so now one of the main changes that I made with Andromeda is how many shots the enemy shoot so basically before my playtesting I had the enemy shooting about three shots but then as I watched my playtesters play test the game I decided that I need to remove the shots and actually limit the shot numbers from three down to two so now another thing I decided to change to Andromeda after reviewing my playtest session notes is decreasing the number of enemies that spawn per wave so now at the start of the game I'm thinking that about three enemies are going to spawn at the start of each round but as you guys increase and defeat more enemies and more waves comes the number of enemies that are going to be spawning with each wave is going to increase so that is one of the major changes that i decided to implement to andromeda and i feel like it's going to make the game a lot more easier for people to actually get into the game and actually figure out how to play the game because andromeda overall is a game that's going to have a kind of a steep learning curve to it so i feel like just eliminating the number of enemies that a player has to fight at the beginning of the game is just going to feel a lot more better to for my players and just make things a lot more easy to get into and a lot more easy to understand the controls and mechanics of the game but overall i just wanted to bring you guys this quick little devlog update and just let you guys know what is going on with andromeda development cycle i know tomorrow but when you guys see the video i'm actually going to be working on adjusting the enemy movement system and just rebuilding and constructing it from the ground up but overall i hope you guys enjoyed this devlog if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to smash the like button subscribe to reloads gaming for more information about andromeda as well as follow me on twitter and for go some entertainment our links will be down below in the description and don't forget to share the video on social media using the hashtags reloads gaming hashtag and drama and hashtag for go some entertainment and i will see you guys on my next one